This video will cover each of the eight submenus within the settings menu. Using the dial pad, scroll to settings and press enter. The first submenu is security. When this function is enabled, users will not be able to change settings or program channels without the security code. To enable the security feature, press enter. Control will display disable. Using the dial pad, trace clockwise to enable and press enter. The control will prompt you to enter the four digit security code. This code is contained in the owner's manual. After the correct code is entered, the control will display lock enabled and the lock icon will be illuminated. With the lock enabled, any setting change or channel programming will require the four digit code. To disable the security lock, scroll to settings. The control will prompt you to enter the four digit security code. This code is contained in the owner's manual. Enter the security code, then scroll to security, press enter. Scroll to disable. The control will prompt you to enter the security code again. Enter the security code and the security system will be disabled and the lock icon will not be illuminated. Using the dial pad, scroll clockwise to the next setting submenu, which is volume. Press enter. Using the dial pad, trace clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust the volume up or down. Tracing all the way counterclockwise will mute the unit volume. Scroll to the desired volume level and then press enter. Using the dial pad, scroll clockwise to the next setting submenu, which is display. Press enter. This menu allows you to have the air temperature or the water temperature displayed. Using the dial pad, scroll to select desired display and press enter. Using the dial pad, scroll clockwise to the next setting submenu, which is temperature scale. Press enter. This menu allows you to set your unit to display in either Celsius or Fahrenheit. Using the dial pad, trace clockwise to set the unit's display to either C or F and press enter. Using the dial pad, scroll clockwise to the next setting submenu, which is time and date. Press enter. This function allows you to set the date and time of the unit. Using the dial pad, set the year, press enter. Next, set the month, then press enter. Set the day, press enter. Set the hour, press enter. Set the minute, press enter. Then set AM or PM, press enter. Using the dial pad, scroll clockwise to the next setting submenu, which is fill system, press enter. This function allows you to turn the water level sensor on or off and allows you to turn the auto water fill system on or off if installed. There are two submenus within the fill system menu. The first submenu is level sensor. Press enter. Using the dial pad, scroll to desired selection. There are three options. Disable, which allows you to shut off the low water detection. Probe, which is the standard water level sensor and float, which only applies to older retrofitted units. Press enter after making your selection and the control will display level sensor. If your oven has auto water fill installed and you want to disable it, use the dial pad, scroll clockwise to water valve and press enter. Using the dial pad, scroll clockwise to disable, press enter. Control will go back to water valve. Press the back button and the control will display fill system. Using the dial pad, scroll clockwise to the next setting submenu, which is tuning. Press enter. This function allows you to offset the water set point plus or minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit or plus or minus 16 degrees Celsius. The control will display the current offset. Using the dial pad, scroll to the desired offset. Press enter. Using the dial pad, scroll clockwise to the next setting submenu, which is clear HACCP. Press enter. This function allows you to clear existing HACCP records recorded on the unit. 
The control will display Confirm Erase. Press Enter to confirm or press back to abort. If Enter is pressed, the record will be erased. The control will display Erase Complete when finished and then go back to the clear HACCP menu.